is the Spirit of God. That God is a spirit, cannot die, has no blood, and can't be tempted. Romans 5 said, By one man's disobedience, sin came to the world, and death by sin. Therefore, by one man shall my servant make many righteous. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. We have to have a kinsman redeemer. He's got to be one of us. He can't. It's not an angel. It's not the Spirit of God. A man. A man. A man lost it. Only a man. Only a man. Only a man can redeem us back. Only a man. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. Philippians 2, 6, Jesus being in the form of God. The Lord Jesus is that spirit. Jesus is the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3, 17, the Lord is that spirit. They came to Jesus and said, you ain't yet 50 years old. Have you seen our father Abraham? He said, before Abraham was, I am! Amen! Before Abraham was, I am! Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it. Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it. Colossians 1.16 says, All things were made by Jesus Christ. Whether it be thrones, but power, these powers. Things visible, invisible. All things were made by him without anything was made with one made. He was in the world, the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Jesus is creator of all, Jesus is God. But Jesus, Philippians 2 6, who being in the form of God, Jesus is that spirit. But he had not taken on a permanent abode yet. It was Jesus in the burning bush. But he was not going to take on a permanent abode, a permanent tabernacle in a burning bush. Moses, take off your shoes from off your feet for the ground you stand on is holy. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. What happened to you? Did I wear you out? Come back here. What are you going? <laughs> Hallelujah! I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He said, Who? I've seen their affliction, I've heard their cry. Go down to Egypt and deliver my people. He said, What is your name? When they ask me your name, I can tell them your name. He didn't say, I am Jesus. Why? Because he hadn't taken on a permanent abode yet. He hadn't taken on a permanent revelation yet. Oh, I thought they was talking about me. He hadn't taken on a permanent abode yet. He hadn't taken on a permanent revelation yet. He was not going to stay in a burning bush forever. Therefore, he said, I am that I am. Whenever they came to Abraham, three angels came to Abraham. 
Two went on down to Sodom and Gomorrah. One stayed back with Abraham. He called him Lord. That was Jesus, but he's not going to be staying in a form of an angel. Joshua saw him too. There was a man that was about to cross over the Jordan River in the battle of Ai before Jericho. He saw a man with a long sword drawn. Joshua looked at him and said, Are you for us or are you against us? He said, Neither. I'm captain of the Lord of hosts. Joshua, take off the shoes from off your feet for the ground you stand on is holy. That was Jesus Christ. Jacob wrestled with the angel. Touched him in his thigh. And he asked him his name. He said, change his name from Jacob to Israel. That was the redeeming angel. Genesis 48 is called that the redeeming angel. Jesus has never been an angel. Jesus is not a burning bush. Jesus is not that and that man of the cat that that had the sword and drawn. Jesus is not a brazen serpent listed up in the wilderness. That was a temporary abode. Would you take a rented house? and chisel your name in the concrete chisel your name in the wood over that house knowing that you're going to move to another house because it's just a temporary abode would you write your name in concrete in it neither would God write his permanent name in it until they took on an eternal abode a permanent tabernacle forever Jesus did not take on him the form of angels the nature of angels he took on him the seed of Abraham when he was going to take on a fullness of that man and what the law what the law could not do and that it was weak in the flesh God sending his own son the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh because by one man's disobedience sin came to the world and death by sin therefore by a man shall my servant make many righteous I showed you in Isaiah 43 10 yesterday you are my witnesses thus saith the Lord that's the Lord Jehovah God Almighty and my servant whom I have chosen that I am he that you may know and believe that I am he. You don't get it. You're looking at me kind of funny. Isaiah 43 10. You are my witnesses. Every one of you, you are my witnesses. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord Jehovah God Almighty. And my servant, whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe. It sounds like there's two of them. You are my witnesses, thus saith the Lord. And my servant, whom I have chosen. That you may know and believe that I, the Lord, am He, the servant. Only one. Only one. We've been duped, man of God. We've been lied to all of our lives. All of us. We've been lied to. 
Hallelujah. Every one of us have been lied to. I was lied to. You've been lied to. All of us have been lied to. Hallelujah. That you may know and believe that I am He. And beside me there is no God. There is no other God. That you may know that I am God. Thy Savior. Amen. 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 Elder. Amen. Amen. I'm very interested in what you think and what you believe. Because you're the leader of this bunch. I'm very interested in what you believe. I don't care if I'm a hundred years old. If I see something in that word of God and I see it and God said do it, I'm going to do it. I want to make heaven my home. I don't want to go to hell. So we got to do our job. So I'm going to make you sad, mad, or glad. You're going to be sad because you don't believe it. Or you believe it and you don't want to change. Mad because you don't believe it at all. Or glad because you do believe it, you're going to change. Hallelujah. 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 Now let's see how this Jesus is. Search in what manner of time the Spirit of Christ. This is the invisible Spirit. That Spirit you can't see. You're going to heaven, I'm there. You're going to hell, I'm there. Where's the house? You'll be on me, David. Search in what manner of time the Spirit of Christ that was in the Old Testament prophets. When it signified, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ. So Christ is going to make him a body of flesh and blood as Christ. You are my witnesses that you may know and believe and understand that I, the Lord Jehovah, am that servant. That is me. The image of the invisible God, the expressed image of his person, John 8, 13. They came to Jesus and said, You bear record of yourself, Jesus, your record's not true. Said, No, I bear record of myself, my record is true. Because I'm not alone. The Father that sent me, He's with me. All they could see was this man of flesh and blood. They said, Jesus, you bear record of yourself, your record ain't true. He said, though I bear record of myself, my record is true. Because I'm not alone. The Father that sent me, He's with me. Jesus said, it's written in your law. The testimony of two men is true. I am one that beareth witness of myself. And my Father that sent me, He beareth witness of me. They said, where is your Father? Where is he? Where is your father? They didn't understand they were looking at him. They didn't understand that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. That if you've seen me, you've seen the father. They said, where is your father? Jesus said, even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. If you'd have known me, you'd have known my father. You're from beneath. I'm from above. You're of this world. I'm not of this world. Moreover, Jesus spake these words in the treasure. No man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. Moreover, Jesus said, I go my way. I go my way, and whether I go, you cannot come. Where is he going? 
Jesus said he was in the form of God. He's in the form of God. Philippians 2 6. Elder Philippians 2 6. Philippians 2 6. Jesus, who being in the form of God, that spirit made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant. Who is that servant? You are my witnesses that you may know and believe that I am he and beside me there is no other God that you may know and believe that I am God thy Savior. Jesus being in the form of God made himself of no reputation took upon him another form he was in the form of God took upon him the form of a servant made himself of no reputation he was in the form of God took upon him the form of a servant made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man who was found in fashion as a man God was found in fashion as a man God was found in fashion as a man humbled himself to the death of the death of the cross wherefore God hath highly exalted him that's the reason Jesus said destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up because I am the father I'll raise up my own body no man can raise up his own body except it be God Jesus is that God he is that Lord Jesus said I go my way where are you going he said I came from the father and I came into the world now I go back to that glory of the father I proceeded from the father and I came in the world now I go back to the father I proceeded from him I go back to him I came from God I go back to God I came out from God I came back to God I came out from God I come back to God 1 Timothy 3.16 Hereby proceed with the love of God because he laid down his life for us God laid down his life for us Acts 20 28 take heed to yourself over all the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made us overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood his own blood God's own blood hallelujah come on give him glory Hang on. Amen. Hang on. It's just going to get good. We're not going to be saved just through the person of Jesus. Not only going to be saved through the person of Jesus, we've got to know the work of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory! You better watch it. You liable to be the true children of God here. Jesus. Yes. Jehovah's salvation. Yes, Made himself of no reputation. Emptied out his glory. Took upon him the form of a servant. 
That servant is the Lord Jesus Christ. The Father manifest in flesh. 1 Timothy 3.16 gives you the mystery of godliness. Without controversy, great is a mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Believed on the world scene of angels. Preaching to the Gentiles. Received up into glory. God was. God was. Not the Son of God. God was. The Son of God has two components. The Son of God is the Father revealed in a body of flesh and blood. The Father is the invisible spirit. The Son of God is the Father revealed in a body of flesh and blood. The Father is the invisible spirit. That's the reason John 14, Jesus said, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, if any mansion would not so, I'd go to prepare a place for you. I would have told you so. While Jesus, now watch this. He is the Spirit of God. Listen to me. But the Spirit can't die. The Spirit has no blood. The Spirit can't be tempted. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. A man lost it, only a man can redeem us back. The devil thinks he's got it won. God looked for a man. He was amazed he could find none. He was amazed he could find none. Because all was conceived in sin, shape and iniquity, none good, no, not one. Therefore, God said, my own arm brought salvation to myself. God was in Christ reconciling the world back into himself. Jesus Christ is that spirit. But man is lost and undone. Therefore, sin separated God from all mankind. So God gave a law. The law was given. Give me that. Give me that. The law was given. No, go ahead. Give me that. The law was given. That sin might appear exceedingly sinful. You see this law? The law separates. The sin separated God from all his creation. We're excommunicated from the fellow citizens of the commonwealth of Israel. Without hope, without God in this world. But we're made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, the law. The law was given that sin might appear exceedingly sinful. And separated God from all mankind. God's got to do something about that. That law requires death. That law requires the shedding of blood. Because Adam, in the day that you sinned, you brought forth death upon all mankind. The only way you're going to redeem it back is by shedding of blood. For without the shedding of blood, no flesh will be saved. But a man's going to have to keep that law, and he's going to have to be one of us. He's going to have to be our kinsman redeemer. Therefore, God, who is holy, who is righteous, who is spirit, cannot redeem us. So he makes himself of no reputation, lays aside his glory to come under his own law. And takes on a form of flesh. 
But he can't work as the Spirit of God. He must work as a man. And as a man breaks down this law by sufferings, the Spirit of God can break through and show himself through the man. The law states in Numbers 4 that the high priest and under this law cannot be a high priest until age 30. Therefore, Jesus will work no miracles.